Hey guys, so uh, I dyed my hair pretty drastically on Tuesday. Uh, it's Saturday morning. Uh, well, I guess it's Saturday afternoon. But um, I wanted to do a uh, What's in My Bag video. A few people asked for an updated one and I kind of don't have any videos on my channel right now. So I thought it would be a good idea. First, my hair. So I um, have had the same hairstyle for the past five years, just like long hair and the blunt bangs um, and I wanted to change I my hair uh, unless people want like a hair video um, but I've had the long hair with the ombre in the ends for a really long time now I wanted something completely different um, I thought about going red but uh, I just talked to too many people about how annoying it is to keep up with um, not that this is going to be much easier um, but I've, I've, I've been blonde before, I've been, you know, heavily highlighted, but I've never had, uh, like, all one solid color. So this is a double process, and um, it took a little while to get used to. I was there for five hours, and at the end of that night, I was super tired, and, you know, I was kind of in shock, and I was like, what have I done? Um, but it's just hair, and if I don't like it at one point, I can dye it back, but I'm really enjoying it right now. Uh, so enough about that. I will get into what is in my bag. Um, this is a fairly new bag. I bought this actually in Japan. It's fake leather. It's not real. Uh, it was about 40,000 yen, which is about roughly $40. So I thought it was a really perfect size bag. Something that was good for like every day. Um, not too big, but big enough to put a lot of stuff in, um, but also convenient for going out at night. So it has a long strap, which is, um, I made it pretty long so I can wear it crossbody or just on my shoulder. And then it just has these two handles too. So if you want to just carry it on your arm or in your hands or whatever. So, um, so it has a middle big zipper pouch and then these two other pouches that close with a magnet. So I'll just do the first magnet compartment, uh, first. And I don't know what's actually in here. I know everybody says that, but I really don't. Um, so I'm just going to pull everything out and just kind of go through it. So I actually have a bunch of gum. I have this Fitz Link No Limit Mint Gum, which I got from Japan. Uh, and I still have two pieces left in here. It's kind of a weird type of gum. It's minty, but at first it has a kind of strange flavor. Um, but it's not bad. I thought it would be similar to these, which are Orbit, just the wind peppermint. Yeah, wind peppermint. Um, gum. Uh, I don't know why I have two, but it'll come in handy. Uh, I have two phones in my bag. I have my iPhone 5S uh, with this Marc Jacobs, Marc by Marc Jacobs uh, case. I have the 5C 5c phone in coral and this is my work phone so have them both in there uh it's stub for birdman i saw that about two weeks ago so that was still left in my bag i have a gum wrapper i have two lipsticks i have mac two mac lipsticks and this one is an innocence beware which i have a few of these this is like my favorite nude pink color um that I reached for a lot. So I have that in there. And then I have the Riri Wu Mac, which is one of my favorite reds ever. I haven't really played with lipstick since I've changed my hair color. So I'll be curious to see if, you know, there's shades that I can't wear or can wear or vice versa. Um, and then I have an EOS, EOS lip balm in, it's the Rachel Roy holiday collection. And this one is orange blossom or something like that but it's, it's pretty nice and uh, moisturized. So in this compartment, there is a bunch more stuff. Uh, there would be my keys in here, but I'm home, so they're not in here. Four tampons, uh, which don't need to be in there anymore. I have a pack of tissues, and they are Toy Story tissues. I have a lens cloth, a lens cloth, which I don't usually use these unless my glasses are really, really bad. Um, but, uh, I have that in my purse. I have another lipstick. This is a Chanel Rouge Allure in Mellow. I don't know how to say it, but it's like, uh, it was from the limited summer collection and it's like a pinkish, uh, corally color. 
I have two pens. I have one from a bar that I took, and then I have my favorite pen of all time, and then this is the uh, Pilot Precise V5 pen. It's just like really nice. It doesn't smudge, and um, I use these at work a lot too. I have another, I don't know why I have this many lip products in my bag because I usually don't, um, but this is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in Red Velvet, and it's just a dark reddish color. I have this, which is birth control. I have a uh, card from a restaurant that I went to for brunch last weekend. I have three bobby pins. And then on to the middle section. So this bag, as you can see, can hold a lot. So the middle section is pretty big. Um, I'm just going to pull everything out of it. Also has inside the middle section two like cell phone containers which I don't usually use and a zipper pocket that I usually forget that's there and there's something in it which is um, an amulet from a shrine in Japan. Um, I think this was from the Meiji Jingu shrine which I'm probably saying that wrong but it's in Tokyo um, and this is just an amulet that I bought for myself and this one is for love so I um, just keep that in my purse. I don't know if I'm going to continue to keep it in, but it can stay in there for now. Then I have a Mophie case and I don't like to keep this on my phone. I keep this charged and I usually charge my phone at work and stuff too. So, um, I don't always use it, but it comes in handy sometimes if I, uh, am out all day or something and I need a phone charge or a friend does. I know it's kind of weird to carry around this and this and not keep them together but my your phone gets really kind of bulky if this is on it at all times so I prefer to just keep it at the bottom of my bag. I have this hand sanitizer which is the Burt's Bees Aloe Witch Hazel hand sanitizer. It's my favorite hand sanitizer because it's also it's a spray. It doesn't smell like alcohol. It just smells really fresh and nice and it's just easy to kind of spray your hands if you need a quick. So have the O'Keeffe's working hand, and this is not always in my bag, but it's been very, very cold in New York, I think, throughout the whole country this week. And um, this is just for dry hands that crack and split. So my mom turned me on to this, and I've had this for like three years, and as you can see, um, it doesn't really, like, you don't use a lot of it, but it's just like this solid hand cream and it's really good if you get like what I get in the winter is that my fingers crack like I get like little splits in them um so this is really good for that and I was noticing that it was happening or like the sides of my fingers will get a little bit dry my hands are typically soft but my my fingers crack and that happens to my mother too so I'm guessing it's hereditary um but this comes in handy for those times so I have that in there I also have my glasses which are just these C glasses. Where are they though? So these are them. Um, they just look like this and they are um, from C. I had LASIK eye surgery when I graduated from college. So about seven years ago, I would say. And it lasted for a very long time. And then my eyes started to regress a little bit a few years ago. And I just use these now for like distance and watching TV and movies and stuff like that. It's kind of unfortunate, um, but my eyes are not, you know, anywhere near as bad as what they used to be. So I do unfortunately have those. I have a disposable black and white camera in there. I bought these, I bought some color ones and uh, this one for Japan, but I realized I really didn't use the black and white one in Japan. So I just thought it would fun be fun to have some pictures to come back to develop. So this one, 21, I think there was 27. So I really haven't taken many pictures at all. So I'm keeping it in my bag. So I use it um, when I'm out and stuff. Then I have my iPod and they stopped making this iPod and I am still... Um, I, I haven't jumped on the Spotify bandwagon. I like to have all my music with me at all times. So, uh, I usually listen to this on the subway or walking around or whatever. And this is just the classic black iPod and my earbuds that go with it. Then I have this pouch, which I, this is pretty old now. It's probably like a year and a half old. And this is from Target, which I always pick these up. I like them a little bit bigger. Um, you know, makeup cases, pencil cases. I don't keep 
makeup. Maybe there'll be some lip products in here. But I like to keep one of these with like a bunch of stuff so stuff's not like loose in my bag. And this one actually held up very, very well. Sometimes they get so dirty, these things. But this one's like a vinyl-y kind of material. And it's mint green, as you can see, with like a tribal print on it. But it hasn't gotten dirty. Like nothing has really... You know, there's not really any wear and tear. So um, I'll just show you what's inside here. It's, you know, pretty spacious uh, as my inhaler falls on the floor. So yeah, my inhaler is in there. I have asthma, so I carry that with me. I'll tell you what else. Oh, okay. So I have, so I have, um, they're all loose. They used to be in a plastic Ziploc bag, but that broke, it was a baby one. Um, but I have like all these like earbud covers. The worst thing ever is when um, you're reaching for your headphones and then you realize you lost one of your earbud cover things. And um, so I always keep spares with me. I have way too many band-aids. I think these are left in there from Japan because I'm sure I put like a bunch in my bag, but I have another gum wrapper and like a million band-aids, which I don't need all of those. I have this, which is Gas X, because sometimes you need that. Um, this is just a little container from Muji, and it just has random like allergy pills, Advil, that type of stuff. I keep that in there too. There's another pack of gum, which has one piece left in it, so I think I can consolidate that. Uh, just a pocket-sized mirror. This is a Tokidoki one from like years ago from Sephora when they still sold that. It's just fairly large. I have some clean and clear oil, absor oil absorbing sheets and then I have two types of eye drops. I have these which are eye allergy relief itching and redness drops for allergies obviously and then these are just refresh plus the little like single use ones and these are good for just like if your eyes are dry um, any day kind of use so I like the vials of those. Then I have a Kiehl's lip balm and a oh a Burt's Bees lip balm I don't and then a lighter that I bought in Japan at the 7-eleven because I just thought it was funny um it's just purple with this guy I have no idea what it says and then there's like a bullet hole on the back so that's everything in there and then my wallet which is new I also got this in Japan and this is leather I bought this at Tokyo, Tokyo department store and it's in Shibuya and I was looking for something kind of authentic not that I didn't get other authentic things but something um, that I could wear or use like a wallet uh, that I could bring back home and that we don't have here so I've never heard of this brand but I looked it up and it is a Japanese brand it's Julie and Shushu and it's a zipper wallet I only buy these anymore because um, stuff just falls everywhere if it's not a zipper wallet for me. It's like a blue metallic kind of leather navy and it has on the bottom like it's split in half and then it has like these gold, um, almost looks like little stars on it. And this is really lightweight and really thin so I really love that but there's a lot of compartments inside. So on the back there's just a change purse area for coins and then this zips has a little tassel on it. Um, and you can see that this is a fairly large wallet with a lot of nice compartments. So um, the first compartment, I just keep some cash in. The second, the middle compartment um, has room for cards. So there's three slots on each side and it's leather on the inside over there too. And then there's just some receipts and um, this, I don't know how long this is. This is pretty old, but it just says, love you. And it says, um, mom. I thought that was nice, so I just keep that in there. Um, and then there's another compartment right here, which just has uh, it has a check in it, and then it also has concert tickets because tonight I'm going to see Ryan Adams with my sister. And then the last compartment is just another like big, you know, you can put money or whatever in here, but also some more room for cards. So I keep my cards that I don't use every day in here, and then I keep the ones that I use all the time right here. So um, really like this wallet. I highly recommend this brand if you are in Japan. It's pretty affordable. I think this was this was about $114, I want to say. So um, I thought it was a pretty good price for the quality of the wallet. And that is everything that is in my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.